Recently, I've been noticing on social media there's a lot of people whom I'm acquainted with and friends with who start posting about the stock market and their charts analysis. I kind of have a hunch na that's already a sign that there's new people trading the stock market kasi nga feeling ko yung news, uh, they're spreading the news na yun nga mura na yung stock market, bagsak na yung presyo, and it's a good time to buy. It was recently confirmed by an article I saw that account opening on Call Financial and AAA equities rose during the pandemic. During the first few weeks from the bottom, siguro mga mid-March at ayit hanggang first week ng April, lahat kami ng mga tropa ko nakasakay kami dun sa JFC Play, so parang app kami ng mga 20%, but tides shift quickly. After that, things started to trade sideways, so lahat kami nun nadali na. Yung iba sa amin nakapag-maintain pa ng sum of their gains, yung iba na-wipe lahat ng gains, yung iba naman nasa loss na. That's why I want to repurpose a video I made last year. Uh, I'll link it in the show notes if you want to watch it. I'll link it in the description box and the end of the screen. It was about the top 5 lessons I learned from losing my money in the stock market. Now, this lesson applies to the people who want to trade the stock market. This is not for the people who want to invest for the long term. I just want to clarify that in the beginning of this video. Lesson number one, learn to cut your losses. This is by far the most important thing to learn pagka nagtitrade ka ng stock market. Mahirap siya kasi pagka ginawa mo siya, hindi na siya magiging paper loss lang. It will be a real loss. But you'll thank yourself later pagka ginawa mo to. I've seen a lot of portfolio getting burned or sunog kasi hindi naglalagay ng stop loss yung mga traders. And recently, I've got a message from my friend na yung portfolio ng dad niya was down by 70k ata. From 250k, naging 180k na lang. And then I have also a friend na yung portfolio niya has lost value of 100,000 ata within just a day. And pagka titignan mo din yung mga FB trading groups, makikita mo doon ang daming mga portfolio na sunog. So yeah, what cutting your losses does, it protects you from losing more money and it saves you some cash para may capital ka pa to invest in a stock that has better chances of making money for you. Lesson number two is to learn how to generate your own bias. What it just means is dapat matutunan mo kung paano pumili ng mga stocks na bibilin mo on your own. Sa simula naman, wala ka pa talagang idea how to pick your own stocks. So madalas, magre-rely ka lang sa stocks recommendations ng iba. So yung tip ko sa'yo is aralin mo kung paano nag-come up yung isang tao with the idea of that stock recommendation. What is the idea and principles behind the stock recommendation? Was it technicals ba? Was it support and resistance? Was it DARPA's box? Was it moving averages? Was it uh, Fibonacci? Was it an Elliott wave? Ba? Um, I won't explain those terms in this video but as you uh, explore the technicals, you'll encounter these terms. Lastly, ingat kayo sa mga trading groups kasi it highly affects your own bias. So if madali kang ma I highly suggest at some point, leave those trading groups. Lesson number three, be mindful of your emotions. For sure, pagka tumataas yung buong market, pag lahat biglang kumaangat, you'll feel green. And pagka naman may biglang malaking drop yung market, you'll feel fear. And normal lang yun. So I highly suggest na before you make a trade decision, don't just solely rely on your emotions. Always follow your trading plan. Execute based on your cut point, your entry point, and your sell signals. And never deviate from your trading plan kasi you'll develop bad trading habits. Lesson number four, learn to accept that there's always a chance that you'll be wrong. This is something that I also apply in my daily life. When you're trading kasi based on technicals, you always have these indicators. And even if the indicator tells you na this trade is going this way, just keep in mind lang na there's always a chance na pwedeng hindi mangyari yung uh, sinasabi na indicators mo. There's always a chance that you are wrong. Just keep it in mind and adjust accordingly. For me, it keeps me humble, it keeps me grounded, it keeps me asking myself if I'm still doing the right thing. But never take it too negatively na hindi ka na mag-try pagka hindi 100% sure you base hindi na take ng chances for me there's nothing totally guaranteed in life so i just take what makes sense based on my risk management which is lesson number five Lesson number five, risk management. So yung pinapropose nila na risk management or risk reward ratio sa trading is at least 3 is to 1. So ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Ibig sabihin lang nito, for every chance na matatalo ka, dapat yung upside ng mananalo ka is at least 3 times ng potential mong matalo. Kung baga, kada tataya ako, if matatalo ako, yung lugi ko lang is 1k. Pero pagka mananalo ako, yung panalo ko is 3,000. There's a way of setting up those kinds of trades. So you have to be picky then with the stocks na bibilin mo. Hindi ka lang basta bili ng bili. I'll leave links below of learning materials if you want to learn how to trade the markets. Anyways, I wanted to use na lang yung uh, past video ko, yung closing remarks ko from that video. If you find this video interesting, I think you should watch yung whole video ng past video ko. I think share ko doon kung paano ako nag-start into trading and how I apply these lessons in my daily life. Disclosure lang, I'm not currently trading anymore. I stopped noong March of 2019. Kasi dumating na sa point na it's not emotionally healthy para sa akin. Masyado akong naging attached dun sa mga trades ko. Kasi sakit na eh. Parang every time na mag-enter ka ng trade mo, 
you're already down 1.19% and di niya siya I can't really think clear na nung mga panahon na yon. Kaya nag-purge ako just to refresh yung sarili ko. I lost 9% nung port ko on the process which is quite hefty para matutunan ko tong mga lesson na to. Pero it's all worth it naman para sa akin. Sulit pa din. Ah, uh, nag-iipon lang ulit ako ng trading capital ko. Then I'll be back trading again. Siguro much better na and with a better perspective. Kahit na natalo ako from trading the stock market. I still highly encourage everyone na itry yung pag-trade ng stock market kasi it will give you a perspective na dun mo lang makikita on how you deal talaga with money, yung emotions mo. Basta, iba-iba. There's something unique na dun mo lang makikita. Yung greed mo, yung fear mo about money. Yun, you learn it from trading the stock market. So, ayun lang. Uh, that's the only... Uh, lessons na natutu- I mean, madami pa pero yun lang yung parang tingin ko na i-share ko muna so I guess yun na see you on the next videos na lang uh, you know the drill parang like, subscribe blah 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 you know you know it bye